Okay, Weasel here with one more gasification test. I've got my gasifier mounted in the truck and uh, we'll just point out a few things. I have several other videos with the actual gasifier running but never in a vehicle. So uh, today's uh, experiment is nothing more than trying to run this uh, 60, 68, 78 Dodge Power Wagon on my gasifier. Uh, we've got uh, a fair amount of wood for today. Some nice kiln dried red oak again to use for fuel. And basically just to go through the uh, system, we're going to do a little walk around here to basically point out everything that we've done here. We've got the gasifier, I've got a cyclone coming out of the gasifier, magnahelic gauge, I've got a wet scrubber hooked up today using a, a, a diluted automatic transmission fluid for uh, helping to uh, scrub the gas from tars and uh, any soot or ash that might be coming in the gas stream. I have uh, a flare tube which at the moment is not connected uh, with a shutoff valve there and then uh, from there it goes down into the uh, uh, a 55 gallon drum full of hay. That's my hay filter and uh, that's what we're using today. We're not using a cooler at all basically because it's cold enough out I don't need one and secondly my gas scrubber is going to act as for the most part the cooler. So coming out of the gasifier, I've got another shutoff valve here, and then we go underneath the truck and up to the engine compartment. All right, up under the hood, we've got uh, our PVC connections coming up. Uh, my gas supply line coming here. My mixing valve is over here, and I have a uh, uh, two fittings. I have a port in the. Uh, side of my gas supply so I can measure uh, my static pressure and from the and the gasifier as the gas is coming up and then I also have a port on the air cleaner uh, inside the air filter so I can determine whether or not I've plugged an air cleaner because I am using an air cleaner uh, an air filter today uh, just because uh, it's not my truck and I don't want to wreck nothing so and I don't feel like cleaning any tar out of anything so that's basically it and then over here we have a shutoff valve so once we get the truck uh, operational and warm we will shut the fuel supply off to the carburetor let it run out of gasoline and then uh, um, uh, open up the gasifier to bring some gas forward and try and start the truck up on wood gas so uh, here we're gonna shut the video off now and we're gonna go get the gasifier running and then get the truck warmed up Okay, the gas fire's been running now for, I don't know, maybe three, four minutes, and we're up to about 700 degrees on our hearth. So once we start hitting 12, 1300, then we'll uh, be ready to uh, switch it over. In the meantime, we'll start the truck up and uh, warm it up. Okay, let's start this thing up.
okay, the truck has run out of gas. We're not going to open a valve to let gas pass up to the engine, which is what we're doing now. And we're going to purge out our filter, and then I'm going to shut off the uh, the flare. Off. Let me know when you got some uh, smoke coming out front. It's coming out already. It's coming out already? Yeah, pretty good. Alright. Wait, so right now it's running? We got a person filter though. Yeah. So we'll give it a we'll give it a couple minutes here. Shut off the vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner's off. Valve is wide open. Let's see if the truck starts. Let's pull the choke. Okay, we are going for a drive. We got her warmed up. And we're gonna give this a try. We're in four wheel drive. I gotta make sure I... <laughs> we are driving on wood gas. First time ever. thing. It's a little touchy. Yeah. Okay. Back and forth. 
back and forth. We finished our trip running the truck on wood gas. We probably put about 20 miles on, so we're done for the day. I would consider it uh, a successful run, other than the fact that we couldn't get her going very fast because my gasifier is definitely not large enough for this uh, 360 in this truck. But uh, and we got a lot of mud and slop on it. But uh, I just wanted to finish the video by saying that um, uh, we were pulling about 20 or better than 20 inches of static pressure on the gasifier which was way more than it could handle but uh, it's been uh, what I would call a successful test so in closing this video I just wanted to say thanks to uh, uh, all the people that helped me build my gasifier and put this truck together I want to say thanks to Eric for letting me uh, use his uh, farm truck I want to say thanks to Bulldog for doing all the videos I want to say thanks to my wife who very graciously let me work on this project with her only uh, her only request was that I not kill myself so having said that I thank Scott and uh, Justin who also helped in our gasifier gurus and uh, it's been a, a good test now I'll have to decide what I'm gonna do next